Hey guys, this is Anjali Mangalgiri. I am the founder and principal architect at Grounded. We are an architecture and development studio based in Singapore and Goa. I'm here to answer a question um, by Ideal Homes on where I find my inspiration. Um, so to begin, I think we uh, find our biggest inspiration from our site where we're going to build a, you know, a home or a building. Um, our style of architecture is very site specific, so we really take our time to understand the site and uh, the unique features of each site. Uh, for example, if there is a remarkable tree or um, you know, an existing building or a rocky outcrop, um, then those become the starting point for our design. Our buildings are built in a way that uh, they cannot really be transported to any other site. There is a great uh, relevance to the site where they're situated. Um, then I guess number two would be um, in studying the masters. I love to see how they have been so articulate with space, with light, with the connection to outdoors. Um, and I think there's a lot to gain uh, from um, studying what has been done before. Um, and number three would be, uh, you know, just exposing yourself to a lot of visual medium out there. Um, and I do that by traveling and uh, by going to a lot of um, art exhibitions. Uh, the second question asked by uh, Ideal Homes, which is uh, what is the relevance of sustainability in architecture? And um, I just want to say sustainability is everything. I mean, if we treasure the world as we know it um, and uh, you know all the beautiful things that it gives us, then we have to do everything that we can to save it so um, you know buildings account for a lot of uh, waste in the world buildings account for the use of tremendous resources in the world so um, as architects we just have to be responsible in the way we um, you know allocate those resources and build um, so I guess the number one question would be um, you know what are we building, why are we building it, um, and then once we do decide to build it, it's about choosing the right materials, um, you know, really uh, working to preserve, um, you know, the, the natural features of the site, uh, not uh, doing um, irrelevant excavations and unnecessary fillings, uh, you're trying to use local materials so we can uh, cut the energy use in transporting materials, using materials that have a high recycled content. Again, uh, preserving um, the use of uh, you know, new materials instead of stressing on using uh, recycled material, um, reducing the use of um, wood that has been um, you know, um, a lot of times illegally chopped from forests uh, which lead to deforestation. Um, and also I would say that in your personal life, uh, you know, sustainability should really uh, dictate a lot of decisions that you make. So um, the first and foremost is that we must say no to single-use plastic. Um, there, it's very easy to carry a cloth, carry a cloth bag or many cloth bags to uh, the grocery store, just always having one phone in your handbag, uh, you know, so you can say no to a plastic bag, which as you all know can only used once and is mostly non-recyclable um, than uh, plastic bottles just that's that's just a waste I mean like we're money on buying bottled water I understand um, you know many countries it's difficult to get uh, filtered water especially if you're traveling um, but in most cases you know if we could just try to carry reusable bottles with us and uh, refill uh, filtered water rather than um, use plastic bottles that I think will also go a long way in reducing waste and uh, you know, preserving the planet. Um, same goes with plastic straws. When you go to Starbucks, you can say, you can ask them to hold the plastic lid. Um, um, bamboo toothbrushes. I mean, I think that now it's becoming easier and easier for us to make the right choices when it comes to um, using alternatives and saying no to plastic. So um, my appeal to everyone is that um, um, you know, whenever you see plastic just in your head, um, have just just run through a thought that is there an alternative that I can use? Can I use a spoon rather than a plastic stirrer? You know, just everything can be used an alternative and say no to single use plastic because it's all ending up in our oceans, it's ending up in our food, um, and it's finally ending up inside our bodies. I mean, that is 
if nothing else, that should be an incentive for us to say no to plastic and uh, looking at sustainability as the way forward. Thanks.